The Monster That Challenged the World original filming titles, The Jagged Edge and the Kraken is a 1957 black and white science fiction monster film from Gramercy Pictures, produced by Arthur Gardner, Jules V. Levy, and Arnold Lavin, who also directed, and starring Tim Holt and Audrey Dalton. The film was distributed by United Artists as a double feature with The Vampire. The film concerns an army of giant mollusks that emerge from California's Salton Sea. The monster that challenged the world's Gramercy Pictures is not related to the former Polygram division of the same name. Topic. Plot In the Salton Sea, an underwater earthquake causes a crevice to open, releasing prehistoric giant mollusks. A rescue training parachute jump is conducted, but the patrol boat sent to pick up the jumper finds only a floating parachute. One sailor dives in but also disappears. The other sailor screams in terror as something rises from the water. When the patrol boat does not answer radio calls, Lieutenant CMDR John Twill Twillinger Tim Holt takes a rescue party out on a second patrol boat to investigate. They find the deserted patrol boat covered in a strange slime. The jumper's body then floats to the surface, now blackened and drained of bodily fluids. Twill takes a sample of the slime to the base lab for analysis, where he teams up with recently widowed Gail McKenzie, Audrey Dalton, and Dr. Jess Rogers, Hans Conried. A young couple disappear after going for a swim. U.S. Navy divers investigate and discover a giant egg and the body of one of the victims on the ocean floor. The divers are attacked by a giant mollusk, which kills one of the divers. The mollusk attacks the boat, but Twill stabs it in the eye with a grappling hook. The egg is taken to the U.S. Navy lab for study and kept under temperature control to prevent it from hatching. The mollusks escape into an irrigation canal system, attacking livestock, a locked keeper, a trysting couple, and others. Navy divers locate a group of mollusks in the canal system, and use explosives to destroy them. In the meantime, Gail is at the lab with her young daughter, Sandy, Mimi Gibson. Worried about the lab rabbits being cold in the lab's lowered temperature, Sandy surreptitiously turns up the thermostat. Twill calls the lab and gets no answer. He arrives and finds that the hatched mollusk has Gail and Sandy cornered in a closet, where they ran to escape from the monster. He fights it with lab chemicals and a CO2 fire extinguisher until other Navy personnel arrive and shoot the mollusk. Topic. Cast Topic. Production The story for the monster that challenged the world came from David Duncan, who also went on to pen screenplays for The Time Machine 1960 and Fantastic Voyage 1966. During production, Duncan's original work was titled The Jagged Edge, before the screenplay was renamed The Kraken. Prior to the film's release, it was once more retitled, this time to the monster that challenged the world. Filming took place in 16 days on a budget of $200,000. A majority of the underwater scenes in the production were shot at Catalina Island off the coast of Los Angeles. Other primary filming locations included the Salton Sea, as well as Brawley and Barstow, California. The close-ups were later filmed in a tank filled with water and plastic seaweed. In a 2016 interview, star Audrey Dalton recalled, I thought it was a very interesting experience, as all my movies were in different ways. The director, Arnold Lavin, had formed a production company with Jules Levy and Arthur Gardner. The monster stuff was fun, crouching behind a desk with a monster breaking down the wall. But you had to play it very straight. Once you start seeing the funny side of it, it doesn't work. Tim Holt had come out of retirement to do this movie. He was a quiet, very nice man, the most unactor actor that I ever worked with. The film's poster features a woman in a bathing suit. People think it's me, but it was the actress whose character was drowned in the opening sequence. She's pulled into the water by the monster. We shot down on the beach for that. I think the rest of it was filmed along the California aqueduct. <laughs> 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 
Topic. Reception A TV Guide review of the monster that challenged the world noted, "...fine special effects help this film along by adding an atmosphere of impending danger." A later review by author Dave Sindeler of Fantastic Film Musings and Ramblings remarked, "...for some reason, this 50s monster movie doesn't get much respect, but I think it holds up extraordinarily well." For one thing, I think the characters are unusually well drawn for this type of movie, and they're given a dimension and a sense of realness that adds a lot to the proceedings. Respect for the monster also dominated a later review of the monster that challenged the world in the video movie guide. This late 1950s sci fi programmer is set apart by only one thing the giant monster, which is life size, not a miniature, and given plenty of screen time. Topic. DVD release As of 2015, the film was available on DVD as part of Metro-Goldwyn-Mayer's Midnight Movies collection, both by itself and as a double feature with it. The Terror from Beyond Space. Kino Lorber's Monster. Blu-ray featured an audio commentary by Tom Weaver, Dr. Robert J. Kiss and David Schechter. Topic. See also List of American films of 1957